Today, I'm going to be showing off my Lunar Client settings for you guys, which isn't something I've really done before. These settings are Lunar settings I've been using for a long while now, and they will definitely boost your FPS and make your game look 10 times smoother. And finally, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure to go down and click that red subscribe button as it really helps out as we're verging very swiftly towards the big 1k. Anyways, let's get into the settings. I've decided to switch hubs because Hypixel kept putting me in limbo for no reason. So um, yeah, let's get right into the setting. And just before we start, I just want to say that this video is split up into two parts. We've got Lunar settings I want to go over and Minecraft settings. So there is a timestamp on the screen right now for Minecraft settings if you, want to if you want to jump to that. And yeah, let's get into it. Right, so the first thing you want to do here is obviously click right shift. You get the uh, uh, UI editing and the, uh, the, you know, the Lunar emote mods and cosmetics menu. So what we're going to do here is click on mods and start going over the mods I use to make my game be smooth and best performance it can be. So as we see here, the first mod I use is 1.7 visuals. 1.7 visuals is a like one of the best mods you can ever have in Minecraft for PvP. And it's because it makes all of them look like the 1.7 animations. As you know, they updated the animations um, 1.8 and then updated them again for one point nine plus i think it was so here's all of my settings here i just use all of them feel free to copy them down if you don't want to that's completely fine but this is the one i use next up we got time changer time changer is a crucial for me as i i'm a, i'm obsessed with sky overlays and i have a pack that has 72 of them as we can see right here um so you know i i love my sky overlays um I'll leave that this pack overlay in the description. I can't remember who it's by, but it's by another creator in the uh, Minecraft community. He's an amazing guy and uh, very grateful he made this. I'll link him in the description. So yeah, um, I use it for this. If you want to go ahead and um, use that, then you can use Time Changer as well. And yeah, um, next we use Toggle Sprint, Toggle Sneak. This is a another crucial mod for PvPing because you don't want to be holding shift all the time and you don't want to be holding sneak... Uh, control all the time for sprint so yeah they're all my settings i use uh it really depends with toggle sneak i sometimes do and don't use it because high i got banned off high pixel a few years ago for a blacklisted modification or whatever that means so i i just take it off sometimes and yeah toggle sprint i use on a daily every server i go on everything i do i use toggle sprint so yeah there's the settings feel free to copy them down next we've got cps um i just have it here comfortable in the top right corner there's all my settings for it. I just make it simplistic, not in the way. I don't really like things being in my face. I like them being in a corner where I can see it, but it doesn't really make an issue. So yeah, there's all my settings. Feel free to copy them down. Next, we've got Zoom. Zoom is another crucial. I love it, this mod. Just the, the It's just like a better Optifine Zoom. So yeah, there's my settings. Let's move on to the next one. High pixel mods. I, eh, I don't really use it that much. It's one of their mods that I've got auto GG and uh, level head enabled and auto tip. And that's about it. If you want to copy them down, feel free. It's not really a big mod. And next we'll scroll down to coordinates. Coordinates is another crucial I like to uh, have because obviously I still play UHC. I know I made a video on like I don't upload it, but I still play it every weekend. Um, UHC live events and UHC recorded rounds. So, uh, you know, having uh, coordinates is very crucial and uh, a good way to communicate with your teammates. So, obviously, I do use it. So, feel free to copy that down if you would like to. If you don't, no problem. Next up, we got scoreboard. Obviously, my scoreboard's see-through, so it's a cleaner. So, you can see, you know, you can see more instead of a grey box. So, there's my settings if you want to copy them down. And then we got waypoints. I don't... And again, waypoints isn't something I really use, but it is very useful if you're doing survival and hardcore or playing on an SMP and you want to mark down something. So feel free to do that and create a waypoint I have N set. I don't know what the default is, but mine's N. Next up, we've got the, probably the most important mod when it comes to making your Minecraft look smooth and motion blur. Not many YouTubers go into this and show off what they've got, but motion blur is what's going to make your hits look smoother and the animations in the game look very smoother as well like looking about sword swinging it's just gonna make everything look fresh next up we got pack organizer just use that it's just a, a d 
decent one. Yeah, you can have show you can have show incompatible packs on doesn't really make a difference, but I like to use sometimes use 1.8 packs on the newer versions, even though it's the uh, the grid on the inventory is a bit off to the left, but it's okay. And then we've got chat. I have mine see through. If you want to copy that down, feel free. And then we have name tags. I have mine see through as well. Um, and I have it in third person, so feel free to copy that down. And then another very important mod for me is UHC overlay. So I like to have the player heads and uh, increased. If you play UHC and you're a UHC player and you're watching this, feel free to copy down. I don't know. We've got particles, another crucial. So the only important really ones you want is sharpness and uh, critical because they're your hit multipliers. So feel free to copy this one down and then this one down. Oh, wait, hold up. This is, that's, yeah, sharpness, this one down. Item physics is just a aesthetic kind of look, but yeah, I have item physics on with a rotation speed of 0.5. Um, TNT countdowns on other just uh, not essential but something that's, that's quite useful here and there um, especially when you're playing like survival or like games that you know you do see TNT a lot so that's that feel free to copy that down and then auto text um, doesn't really matter I just have these and then I also have screenshot updater or uploader sorry um, this one is a, just a quick and easy get a screenshot somewhere. You can upload to Twitter. Oh, you and you can uh, open it and you can upload it to uh, a link. I just co click copy and paste it in Discord. And I think that's about it for the... Oh yeah, weather changer. Lighting isn't... Yeah. Lighting... Sorry, I forgot about lighting. Lighting is probably an, one of the most important mods I use as well as full bright you don't want to be using torches who uses torches nowadays let's be honest come on let's be honest here no one uses torches full bright is probably one of the most convenient mods as well and then we've got free look free looks another really useful one i've got mine set to Z, and you can just look around obviously hypixel doesn't support it but my main club and all the other servers do and i think that's about it for the lunar settings so yeah, if you've uh, copied them all down and you're happy with that, we will get onto the Minecraft settings of the video. Okay, so getting onto the Minecraft settings, just to clarify, these settings are all built around my PC and what my PC can handle. I'll leave all my specs in the description. If you have a similar PC like me, then feel free to copy. If you want to take a chance and up your FPS, then for sure, you're welcome to copy. So here we're going to click escape, click options and video settings. Here's all of my videos, main video settings you're presented with on the main screen. So we've got graphics set to fancy, smooth lighting set to maximum, then the lighting level all the way to 100, UI scale of large, brightness being bright, dynamic lights fancy, then we've got render distance 11 or 12, doesn't really make a difference. Frame rate unlimited, always put your frame rate to unlimited because that will ensure your PC will reach the most it can reach. If you limit it to something, then you're not getting the most out of your FPS, especially on Minecraft. You just want to slab it to unlimited. View bobbing on, VBOSS on, alternate blocks on, and dynamic FOV on. Next, we're going to go into detail. So we've got clouds off, trees are smart. Doesn't really matter what you have trees to. Sky obviously is off um, because I have a sky overlay. Sun and moon on because I want the sky overlay to, to be how it is. Fog, have that off. And then these don't really matter, apart from Entity Shadow, um, star Stars off, Cloud Height none, and Rain and Snow fast. That doesn't really matter. I just have mine like fast, because it's whatever. And then yeah, that, that's why for that menu, feel free to copy down. Next we've got animations. I just have all of them off apart from particles. I don't like animations in Minecraft. They just get in the way. Everything's in your face. I don't like it. So I have all of them off apart from particles. Um, yeah, that's about it for that one. Feel free to copy that down.
Then we go to quality here, and we've got most of them off. This this menu, apart from custom skies on, and then custom items and UIs on. Uh, Mipmap levels at maximum. Analyzing off. Initial, I don't know, initializing, sorry. That's off. Yeah, feel free to copy that one down as well. And then performance is probably one of the most important ones. So smooth FPS, got to put that on. Fast render on or off, it doesn't really matter. I, I usually have it off because I have motion blur on, but feel free to put it on if you have motion blur on as well. Chunk updates, one. Fast maps, on, as it will uh, work your CPU with the game. You want smart animations on, render regions on, and then these doesn't really matter, but feel free to put them on anyway. And then last we've got other. Um, feel free to copy them these down again. They're all factored into your FPS, but these are ones I found that will give me 400 plus FPS whenever I'm playing Minecraft. So, yeah. And then if we go here to Lunar again and go to settings, um, here's all my performance settings for Lunar. You want to copy these down. And then I also use minimal view bobbing and all of these. So yeah, feel free to copy all the settings down I provided. And that is going to be it for the Lunar Client Showcase settings showcase if you did enjoy this video make sure to again hit the subscribe button and i will see you again this week peace